No effects are dead, and they're ripping off Blink-182 on their 15th and final studio album. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Does Mike play bass in this band? And does he talk about hating Green Day in the lyrics? Let's find out. Darby Crash begins with a watery and exquisite bass line that makes me crack uh, Blink-182 jokes. Darby Crashing Your Party is the full title, and it's one that you need to listen to with the lyrics pulled up. The G.G. Allen reference at the end, that's just where I knew I had to pull up some, uh, some AZ lyrics. None of those genius lyrics. I don't like those. Those are stupid. My favorite enemy? Kind of. Uh, it made me skip around the album to see if the entire thing was filled with this amazing bass guitar sound. And it is. And then I had a really dumb, bald moment where uh, I was trying to remember who the bass player was for no effect. So I was like, what? I, who, who is it? I can't think of it. And then, I, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, the, the singer, the fat mic guy. It is that fat mic guy, and it sounds better than ever. Has he been saving this awesome bass energy all this time? All these decades? I think so. Don't count on me, slow things down a little bit, and shows off the world of Eric's and A.A. Ron. Oh, Shaq, Hennessy's office. Friendly effigies need to watch out. They might get burned by 2009 Green Day because they don't want any part of that, no part of that gosh darn punk rock museum or whatever. Never mind. A denial. 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 Don't count on me. Oh, that's wrong punk band. Uh, that song is a two-for-one deal with a separate sublime section that kind of sucks, but Mike considers it fun, making you, think that, making you think that the song was already done when it's just Mike fat and having fun. And then it runs into the next song, which is interesting. The only other time I've seen that done was by accident. I'm looking at you, Weezer and Flogging Molly. Burning heck. Don't retire like these losers. Woohoo! Punk rock cliche is one that we've been putting up with for some time. And I'd rather, I, I'd, ra I'd rather like punk rock cliche. I like them. I like the song quite a bit. I think that it's the best way to live. Guitars, drums, and vocal cords are being utilized rather particularly good in a chihuahua-like fashion. And the whining vocals, uh, they're just pricey and shiny as poop. Poop, poop. F Day 6. Songs with expletives in the titles are always the best songs. This is one that's going to be my favorite. I have a feeling. It's a slower moment, at least in the early parts of the song, with high emotions and emotions high as Mike tries to get clean. This is serious detox. Rubbing alcohol, chemistry teachers, threats. Tuesday night hasn't been this good since music was released on Tuesday nights. You guys remember that? Man, F Day 6. F Day 6. F Day 6. If you bop, 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 then I'm reviewing this album. We also learned that Fat Mike has some strange anatomy. Track 7. Holy cannoli. Nobody told me this was on here. Okay, why did you guys not tell This is your fault. You didn't tell me this was on here. Is it too soon if time is relative? Is one of my favorite no effect songs of all time. So it's fitting to include it on their final album. Although it is hard to adjust to new versions of songs that you've heard previously. And I'm going to have a little bit of a tough time with that. I've heard a different version of this. And uh, it's still easily one of the top 100 songs of, of all history. Let's melt in a wax museum. I'm, I'm crying a little bit. I'm crying. I think the crying, which is, I'm not, but I think I'm crying on the inside about something else that's, that's really bothering me. But uh, I'm gonna cut now. Al Capolic features a shredding vocal screaming over a sparkling instrumental that soars to heights. 
Well, heights for this band, anyway. Uh, Fat Mike, you know what I'm saying. Uh, oh, wait. So many references to so many of my favorite bands just jam-packed into this song, along with two insane Green Day references. I don't know why I said Green Day. Oh, because Bad Religion, they had a Grain album. Um, yeah, we get Bad Religion, Rancid, Pennywise, Mad Caddies, and more in addition to the Grain Day reference, which is what I came for. This is a song you got to hear to believe a definitive highlight of all of human history. Three Against Me seems a bit standard for no effects at first, but then goes hard and nasty on some real hurtful and abusive, really dark, turmoil -y, emotional -y stuff. It just breaks your heart. It holds it like a hand grenade. It goes into your internet history and pokes hot coals into your eyeballs and then hurts you a little bit more after that. So it's not freaking standard. Gosh dang. Mike, are you trying to go out on a high note? That's not punk rock. Hot topic is not punk rock. Hot topic. And then we arrive at our final farewell to the band that doesn't use effects. Gone without the bleat. It's an electrifying closer Although not the strongest song on the album, it's in the vein of Enemy and Johanna, which are the weaker songs out of the final batch of no fix uh, treats and gems, if you will, that you could put in your hair, if, like if you had hair like me. But it's still, they're, they're still pretty incredible songs, even though they're the low lights. No effects wants to play every song they've ever recorded, which goes along nicely with my channel. Hey, hey, every song ever. They're also planning on releasing three in progress albums called Half Album, Everybody Else is Insane, and No Effects A. Dash Z. This isn't funny, Mike. This is Detox. Wait a minute, what are we doing? We're supposed to be reviewing this album. What am I saying here? 4.7 out of 5 says they don't break up at all. That was my rating for the album. 4.7 out of 5. Please like and subscribe and comment and share. Listen to some Green Day and hold on. Hold on to yourself. You guys know that Fat Mike uh, kind of has his own fashion line. Have you guys tried fight? <laughs> you know, got. Did you guys know that Fat Mike makes uh, men's um, men's underwear? <laughs>